Hey Libra, it's Jess here with your June 2020 reading. And if you have happened upon this video in a different point in time and space, that it is my hope and intention that this will still resonate with you if you are so drawn to it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dip into your energies for this month. Okay, Libra, making some moves. Too many, too many. You go Libra, okay. So um, I've been starting each one of these readings off by reading a quote from the One Year Riser book on, well, two quotes, but I really only feel like the June 1st one applies, um, but I've been reading both, so. Okay, the first one is, one sees clearly only with the heart. Anything essential is invisible to the eyes. And the second one is, we can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, well, I gotta say that you guys are doing the most here. You guys are making some moves. I feel like you have the Midas touch literally here um, this month. Like whatever you touch turns to gold. You're feeling really empowered. You're feeling really good in yourselves. For a lot of you guys, you're starting your own business or new entrepreneurial venture. Um, you're quite balanced in this approach. You have Leo and Aquarius energy, which forms an axis. So so um, for some of you guys, you're the leader of a group of people here with the star card, but um, you're coming through as quite balanced. Some of you guys are healers, but um, with the Midas miser touch, um, Midas, I can't say touch afterwards. So the light attribute, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold, the light in sharing life's riches. And I don't even think we need to read the shadow attribute, but it's hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. First of all, you guys might be very wealthy, um, but I just feel like you are in a place of empowerment. You are, you're balancing really well too, because it's interesting you have Leo, right? Which is sun energy. And then you have the justice card, which is Libra energy. That's you, that's your sun. So you are fully in your sun's power here. You are negotiating like, I was gonna curse, but you know, you're negotiating like crazy. You are, you're strategizing, you're being a leader, you're rising up into your leadership energy. I feel like you're being regal and golden and your hair is flowy. Your hair looks great, Libra. I can tell through this camera. Um, yeah, you guys are just doing it, doing it. I don't even actually know why you guys are here right now. Um, except for maybe just some awesome validation. So um, something you guys are focusing on this month with the star card is like the star card is hopes. You guys are, I feel like maybe putting together a practical plan for your hopes. You are, something is quite fertile. You are, um, some of you guys could become mothers or fathers, something like that. Um, cause I do see you expanding and I see you shining. I see you stepping up into your power. A lot of you guys, like I said, you're healing, um, either yourself or other people, but this, you have like some kind of divinely channeled energy, some kind of divinely guided energy that you are channeling down here to the earth um, with the star card here. I mean, just look at this imagery here. You have wisdom and great hair all around. Way to go. So um, why is this coming out here with the justice card? Balance, um, so balance is coming through. I might actually need to clarify that, but I do feel like this is just why? Because you're stepping up into your sun energy. That's the lesson for this month is like just leaning into your own energy here. Um, I do feel like there, there might be something that you're walking away from and that's what the justice card is. Um, some kind of balancing of the scales because with the eight of cups, I can see you're walking away from something kind of emotional, um, something that was really good and it worked for a while, but it's not going to work forever. And so you're moving from the low limbs of water into the clarity of air, which Libra is an air sign and you're are comfortable there. 
So again, like that talks about maybe this is some kind of hope or wish that you've had with the, the water and you're moving to that clarity to the, if there's something legal, you've worked out some legal things um, in order to really move forward on some kind of dream that you have. And the way that this is showing up in your life is the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning in earth. Like you're literally starting something. You could be starting a business. Um, for a lot of you guys, I'm getting that you're starting a business. Um, maybe you could be moving, but I'm seeing you in a leadership role. I'm seeing you leading the way, lighting the way with some kind of dream, some kind of vision that you have with the star card. You are a beacon of hope. You're leading people in some kind of hopeful way. You're making money doing it, or you're delighting in sharing life's riches. So you're imparting some kind of like divine spiritual knowledge that's enriching people more than money could. Um, is there a group involved? or um, is there people involved? Yes, a group with the 10 of pentacles here. I'm, I'm getting such work energy. Um, that's coming through here. And you are like this benevolent guiding sun that is, um, helping people to uncover this. Um, for some of you guys, maybe you're investing in something that someone else is doing and balancing out the scales or something like that. There might be like a quid pro quo kind of action or like maybe with like a space, you know, you're going to give somebody something and, and you figured that out and you've got all the, all your eyes dotted and your T's crossed, but any other people involved the 10 of pentacles. So this could involve your family. This could involve some kind of work situation. The 10 of pentacles is all about finding magic in the mundane. And the way that we do that oftentimes involves abundance and groups. And, um, I definitely think there's, there's a group involved. You're showing up as a leader, Libra. Um, you're showing up as a leader, now, the obstacle is the queen of swords. So this could be a literal person who's like a naysayer, who is very critical, who, um, you know, has a very cut and dry kind of approach here. This also could be another aspect of your own self. Like maybe this is, you have a practical side that's like, oh, that's not going to work or something like that. This also could be a professional. Like I said, you guys could have gone to a lawyer or something, somebody that is a professional to get their advice on this. But the reason I'm saying that this could just be another aspect of your psyche that has been kind of wounded in the past is because you are an air sign and the queen of swords is, is showing up here. The queen of swords has been hurt and wounded in the past and she's ready to cut things out if it doesn't like fit and, and suit, you know? Um, yeah. So the highest vibrational outcome is you walking away from something emotional in order to um, move into the realm of air in order for you to, maybe this is like a group of people or something with the eight of, oh my gosh, I just spilled everything. Hold on. Okay. So maybe for some of you guys, this is just walking away from emotion, Some something that's like emotional and get, you're really just getting clear. You, some of you guys are literally going to see professionals to work something out. Um, like, just to know what you're allowed to do and what you can't do. Um, so the Queen of Swords could is often a professional. She could be like a lawyer or some, a doctor, maybe. Um... Queen of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. 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 So, um, yeah, this definitely could be a person like a mother figure. Maybe this is two sides. Like there's an argument kind of going on. Um, somebody's being very short with you with a queen of pentacles. There could be an issue around funding like this. I'm saying you could be going to a professional, a bank, a lawyer, about money. Like, can I afford this? Is this a smart investment? And I just feel like you're getting different answers from this but you want to be like for some of you guys money is involved here and I feel like you're good with money like like you're overall very good with money and you're a very hopeful person and you have a lot of abundance coming through here and it's just like yeah the obstacle is like somebody that maybe you need to borrow money from this could be like family or a mother in particular mother is coming through heavy you have two queens here um so this person might be a little bit tough. Um, it could be a business partner, somebody like that. This could be, I'm, I'm thinking this is an actual person. So um, yeah, but the highest vibrational outcome is to walk away from emotions, move into facts, figures, things that can be clarified and um, celebrate, move into some kind of celebration. 
because the Four of Wands is often, it's, it's creating structure out of chaos. And maybe that's what's moving away from this water energy, something that's really amorphous, something that feels good. The realm of emotion, like maybe, and maybe these emotions are fear-based, you know? So it's like moving away from that, even though it, it kind of makes sense on one level, but it's just like leaning into hope because the way that you can do that is like exploring your own learned helplessness here. Um, and taking a risk with the full card here. This is pretty clear cut. You have, this is another Aquarius energy. You're, I feel like there's some kind of leadership. Like you have some kind of leadership quality coming through. And, um, sorry about that, you guys. Um, and you're just, you're being hopeful. You are lighting the way through the dark. You're trying to be balanced. Some of you guys, this involves a marriage or a business partnership. Um, that you have to be like become balanced and hopeful in yourself. I feel like you're holding it down, Leo. Um, yeah, there's some kind of new, new wealth building project that you are undertaking, and I feel like it's very favorable for you, Leo. So um, that is what I have for you. If that resonated, please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys back here again. Bye.